So this is a follow-up on the idea about culture just being mental models, um, not really being uh, a core, unchangeable, essential uh, part of yourself, but a mental model that you use. Um, what's interesting because that, that take on culture is interesting um, compared to another way of describing culture, which is that culture is what you do when nobody's looking. Um, that's sort of a, a definition that's been going around, been popular uh, the last few years. Um, and it's one that, that's one that I find less useful. The reason I think that it's so helpful to view culture as a mental model um, is because even if, um, even if you have a preferred model that you like to use in a particular situation, picking up and looking at a problem uh, or a situation through a different model or using a different model doesn't um, betray yourself. It doesn't change who you, who you really are. Um, and it turns out that we do this anyway. Um, and some people use the term multiple identities. There's a very, very interesting um, chapter of a book. The book is called um, Strategic Networks. And the chapter is published um, for free as an article called Bramble Bushes in a Thicket. And this is from Cynthia Kurtz and David Snowden. Um, David and Cynthia um, also are known for their work on the Kinevin framework, uh, which is a, a sense-making framework for complex adaptive systems. But in this article, um, Bramble Bushes in a Thicket, Cynthia and David um, show some research and uh, illustrate how all of us carry with us multiple identities and we don't integrate those multiple identities, but we carry with us multiple identities. And then in turn, organizations carry multiple identities. And the, they talk about the identity resilience of an organization. To me, that's just different terms for a similar thing, which is um, we need to use different mental models for solving different types of problems and learning more of those uh, is really useful. So um, culture is not a, a central part of a singular identity that defines the real you. Um, it's, a, it's a set of mental models. It's, a, it's maybe um, a dominant or preferred mental model, but it can be changed and you can learn additional ones and with effort you can make use of them more or less than you have in the past.